Hello and welcome. Today we hack a Canon Xus camera so it accepts external power. Okay, these cameras, it's, uh, this is the Canon Xus 220HS and it's not bad, it's, it's decent, it has some USB input but um, it, you can't charge it on the U while you plug in the USB. You have to use these uh, batteries and these batteries they, they last very little and you have to change them all the time. So what we're gonna try to do is use an external power and the way to do this we hack one of the batteries to convert it to uh, an external power adapter. So how we do it, I have a few I got later because you can never have too many batteries with this. And the charger I'm really hoping not to use that much. So the way to do it, just uh, carefully cut the edges of the battery. You see where the joints are made. And uh, this I have to stress carefully. Don't dig too deep with the cutting. Just enough to, to cut the plastic. You don't want to go further into the battery. Now I use a prying tool and that's when the plastic just comes off. So this is the original battery of the camera. And also I want to, to have a look at one of those uh, extra third party ones that I got because I want to use one of those. I try to keep the original. So this is the original and um, it looks, uh, the original looks pretty much the same as the third party ones they're all so small there is not much energy into this thing but this if you were interested this is how the original battery looks like there is a small board with some electronics on it and the battery itself connected to this board because this is the original one I would like to keep it as it is so I will just glue it back later. I will just uh, modify one of the replacement batteries, the third party one. Interesting fact, this camera is actually made to, to use this uh, battery that is like an adapter. So it has this hole that is made for that. You plug into the, in the it has a, a charger for, for this. And there is some kind of adapter for that. You put it in the battery compartment, but this is easy to do. So we're just gonna do it like this. Interesting thing, that piece of rubber just broke off. What I'm going to do is put the battery inside the camera, close the battery door and use a marker to, to put, uh, to know where where I will make the hole for later and uh, that I will do later now I'm just uh, removing the battery because I will not need the battery actually for this um, so you just uh, remove the board the board you need it so be careful with it Rem cut the tabs the metal tabs from the battery There it is, uh, there are the contacts that go into the camera and some electronic components. We're gonna remove all these electronic components because we don't need them and we don't want them to be powered and uh, be useless there. So just remove everything from the board. Also remove the tabs and that's the board test it make sure that um, the one you have is uh, where you're supposed to solder the connection for mine for this model it's like that there is the positive that's the positive and on this area there is the negative so I have to bridge those as much as I can and it connect that will connect to the negative um, this is how they connect on the other side of this uh, small board um, you see that's how they are that's negative there a uh, problem we have is that the camera needs four volts but usb is five volts and that's a bit not 
not so well, not so good. So we're gonna use a diode to to use the voltage drop of the diode to reduce the voltage for this. You can use um, pretty much any diode that has a voltage drop of about one volt at five volts. This is how everything is gonna work. That's the circuit. Um, the red is the positive and the green is the negative side of the battery and the camera. The diode is, I will put it on the positive side and it will also act as a one way because that's what the diode does. It allows the flow of current only in one way. So it's important the way you place it, it has to be with the line going away from the, from the battery. If you put it in reverse, it won't work. If you do put it in reverse, it's easy. Just flip it and it should work. Just solder the connections, making sure that they are not shorted together. Um, after you solder them, use a multimeter to, to make sure that the red and the black here are not shorted together. Because if you, if you solder them in the wrong place, they might be shorted together. And remove a piece of plastic from the from the case just to make a bit of room for the cables and the wire. About the diode, uh, the one I use here is um, the model is FR107, but you can use any diode that works. Uh, like uh, like I said, uh, it should drop about one volt at five volts. You can measure it, and we will do that a bit later soon. Here I'm just. Uh, putting the connector you don't have to use this kind of connector you can use pretty much anything you have or even you don't have to use a connector if you like you can just uh, put the USB directly connected to the camera to the battery but I use these uh, JST connectors because I just had them so use whatever you have and I, I soldered them normally you need to crimp them only but I didn't have the crimping tool so okay now I'm just uh, trying to test it to see if it works first and okay let's do the test I chose this connector because you can only put it in one way so you can't reverse them a barrel connector 2.5 uh, would be also good here what I'm trying to do is I want to measure the current how much this camera uses when it's powered on and when it's recording just just to see how it is and also to see that it actually works and it doesn't do anything strange so that's milliampers that's about 200 uh, 300 milliampers and when it's recording it's, uh, it's about 700 milliampers it's not very useful to know this now but if anyone is curious this is it the more important thing here is the voltage and we have to make sure that this works at you see the USB is 5 volts but what we need is 4 actually so I'm, I'm gonna do some really weird thing here and test the diode you see the voltage after the diode is 4 that's perfect so now I'm just going to Put the positive there and that pin one positive and negative on just a regular um, usb male connector just to make the cable on one side it's gonna be usb male and on the other side it will be jst and this is just because it's what i have and i thought to do it like this but you can do it with whatever you have you don't have to buy something most important part hot glue Hot glue everywhere. Just be quick about it, especially on the USB connector, because once it's uh, hardened, it, you can't put them together well. So I put here just a lot of hot glue just to be sure that the, the wires don't move around and um, don't move out from the place that they should be. Now testing it, it's a bit uncomfortable to put that cable there, but it's not really a big deal and 
Okay, I had to cut it a bit larger so it fits the GSD didn't fit through the original hole. Just I made it a little bit larger. I'm using a power bank, the Xiaomi I showed you before. You see the previous video with the unboxing. And uh, let's let's see if it works. And yep, it seems to be working. This is pretty good. It's exactly how I was hoping it would work. And now I can power it from the power bank or I can use a wall charger and just use it without having to change batteries all the time because this is one of, was one of the annoying things about this small camera it works pretty well but I had to change the batteries all the time and it's annoying like this no need for that the best part is that if you want to use those batteries it's very easy just put in one of those batteries and it works just normally like before so you have a camera that works either from external power or with the batteries easily. I hope you liked this video and if you did be sure to like it and also if you're not subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe and also ring the bell to get notifications when we upload the new videos and tell your friends about this channel tell them to subscribe tell them how interesting these videos are and how there could be more interesting videos in the future let us know what you want to watch what you want to see and subscribe like and share and i will see you next time bye